They say Trump is hated by the establishment, but is it really him they fear? Today, we're breaking down why the elites, especially those rhinos, are throwing their lifelong conservative labels in the trash heap just to bash him. Spoiler, it's about power, class, and a shift in the electorate that terrifies them. The elite Republican establishment is secretly working with the radical left to destroy Trump's legacy. The very people who once championed conservative values are now desperately seeking approval from their liberal overlords. We're exposing how rhinos betrayed their base and why they're terrified of Trump's working class coalition. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now please subscribe, hit that notification bell and smack that like button because it helps us with the algorithm to get our message out to more people. All right. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely incredible. The globalist Republican establishment, these cowards, are engaging in psychological warfare against the American people. It's always boggled my mind about how rhinos turned away from Trump, even after he had a very successful presidency, doing many of the things that they proclaimed they wanted done but never got done. Despite the rhino establishment types joining forces with the radical left to take him down, they still condemn him to this day. I think it speaks more to how they want to feel loved by the media and by leftists and Democrats who hate them. They want to be invited to the cocktail parties that the establishment lefties throw all the time. They don't want to become outsiders to the horrors of the D.C. swamp. I think rhino establishment types are cowards. They make their ridiculous arguments by planting their feet firmly in air. They are the first ones who will back down at an accusation against them that is not even true, all the while claiming to be above the fray. And they will not participate in the same tactics and manner as they watch the radical progressives run roughshod as they destroy the country. They would rather accept defeat as gentlemen than turn toward the fire and fight back. Why do rhinos, those so-called conservatives who have been around forever, seem to despise Trump more than any other radical leftist? It's mind boggling, right? I mean, this guy had a successful presidency by any conservative measure. Lower taxes, a booming economy, taking on illegal immigration. He actually walked the walk. But these establishment types, they just can't let their hatred go. So what's going on here? Let me paint a picture for you. Trump didn't just take on the left. No, he tore up the Republican rule book. Picture the old GOP, a room full of guys in suits talking about tax cuts for their millionaire friends and pushing privatized Social Security. Suddenly, Trump bursts in, flips the tables and says, forget the elites. We're making the Republican Party for the working class. Just like that, the game changed. Now, think about this. Some of the loudest voices against Trump are the very people who used to be the big conservative icons. Names like Charles Krauthammer, Bill Kristol, Nicole Wallace, David Frum, Joe Scarborough, Jennifer Rubin, and others. These guys were seen as the conservative brain trust. But now they're just trashing Trump harder than the left ever could. Why? Simple. He doesn't fit their club. He doesn't care about what the elites think of him, and that drives them nuts. He never came along to kiss the brass rhino ring or to kiss the rhino ass, and they can't handle that. These never-Trumpers love to call him every name in the book, racist, xenophobic, divisive. But here's what they really miss. Trump's appeal isn't to some rich head funds manager. He's speaking to black truck drivers, Hispanic construction workers, and coal miners. He's about jobs, security, and the grind, the everyday stuff that affects real people. And that's what they just can't handle because, folks, let's be honest, most politicians hate your guts. They can't stand the fact that they work for you. They act like they don't work for you. They don't listen to you anymore. Trump actually listens to you. And America First conservative Republicans in Congress, they actually listen to you as well. You see, Trump's popularity with working class folks across racial lines shatters the left-right narrative that the rhinos want to keep intact. This is the conservatism without the cocktail parties, and that terrifies them. Why? Because it challenges the nice, neat little world that they've been so comfortable in. And here's the thing. When Trump decided not to hack away at Social Security or cut back on benefits, the rhinos practically had a meltdown. 
the old guard Republicans, they'd rather shrink these programs than to think about other options. Trump, he says, let's stop the abuse, not the benefits. Radical idea, right? Actually caring about the people you represent. But here's where it gets even crazier, guys. Remember the wall? Critics were shrieking about Trump alienating Hispanic voters for generations. The Chamber of Commerce was having a critical meltdown, crying about a worker shortage crisis, right? But Trump's support among Hispanic and other non-white communities didn't just hold, it grew. We're seeing it. They deny it, but we know it's true because he's talking to people about their reality, crime, safety, and jobs. And now as Trump continues to bring together a coalition that's more middle class, more diverse, and more real than ever, these Washington insiders are sweating bullets. I like to call it the America First Coalition. Trump isn't just flipping their expectations. He's rewriting the entire book. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Spread the word. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away And I remember your face When you hit the ground I can recall the time and place On a midnight